Definition of a come up is just starting with not all the tools, just really piece by piece, you know, getting your, your getting your mentality right, getting your spirit right, getting your, you know, whatever piece of art that you're working on, getting that just to the max level, you know what I mean? When I first started making music, I would go anywhere and just play my music. Like, they used to have a, a speaker setups at Guitar Center, the music store, and I would just go in there and put my beats on and just hope that somebody near the industry or in the industry would just hear my beats. Like, it was really just like showcasing myself on any set of speakers I could. First beat at 16, and by 20, I had some on J-Lo. I mean, I don't know if, the, I don't think that happens every day, you know what I mean? So I feel like it, it just set a standard to, for me to know that, you know, I could do it on a real level, but still took me, you know, years to just build up and really become that producer I wanted to be. I was making, I was rapping before I even started making beats. Um, I knew a kid who had all the programs. He could record, he could make beats, he could print the labels, print the CDs, all from his mama crib, like off the uh, computer. And one day I just started messing with it. Wasn't even taking it serious at all. Just clicking in stuff. And um, I just fell in love with it. I just wanted to get my own computer after that. Literally off the ground. I remember I was in the master bedroom at this house. And after my accountant had called me. And told me like, yo, you got basically zero in your account right now. I literally was balled up, <clears throat> like in tears, you know what I mean, by myself. It's like, wow, like you really only got yourself in this life, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you gotta make sure you straight. So that just led me to just like focusing on myself to the max level. And literally when I got up, I was like, yo, I just gotta go back to the to the old hit boy, like just because I just wanted to go and grab the music back and let it not be about the glitz and the glamour at all, about the industryness at all, just like believing in myself so man it's just crazy to even be sitting right here in this chair right now just I used to rent this same crib right here uh, in 2017 and I just came back and bought it you know I was able to get myself right back in a position but even better now who is this Dad? joking everything that I wanted to be like I'm saying he is you know what I'm saying as far as being a man a gentleman you know what I'm saying he's shaped and molded you know what I'm saying? It's his character, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, impeccable to me. Making Surfer John 2 was ill, you know, Pops being fresh home, but it was it was so crazy because he was rapping from prison on the intro of Surfer John Volume 1 that dropped a few months prior. So if I didn't even know he would be, you know, coming home, I was just trying to do as much as I could, still staying active. I'm putting the phone up to the microphone, to my professional microphone, recording him, using parts for, you know, different things I'm working on and ended up using the intro. Oh man, it's a dream come true. Like literally, I, I used to dream this. Like we always had a bond somehow. Uh, even though he was locked up through letters, I used to visit him, especially when he was in Cali. We, I would drive down to you know whatever prison he was in with my grandma, I'd go see him. I used to drive out of state uh, with my family, fly out of state, everything. Like wherever he was, I always still had that connection. My, my his side of the family made sure that I was you know still going to see him and you know getting his letters and all that. I was with him up to like his age. I was with him hands on, like I kept him with me, he, which wasn't nothing to brag about, but I had him in the trenches with me, you know, guns, dope, picking up money, doing whatever I was doing. When he was locked up when I was younger, you know, he would send me raps. I didn't even know half of the lingo that was in there, but I just knew that it felt powerful as I was reading it as a kid. So, you know, we always had some type of musical connection. And then the times he did, get out a couple times, like we made music together, you know what I mean? Like I was saying earlier, we, we did the grind of my whole life joint. He was on a couple of my compilation projects uh, right before he went in, so. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> hey, we, we, we can hear you on the camera, dude. <laughs> he hot. <laughs> He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, what my son has taught me about myself is that I need to have more patience, you know what I mean? Especially when you, you have a kid and you're really there for him and you love him. 
<laughs> I like your pants, man. Tie your shoe. Video shoot sessions. He he was pretty much there for the last, especially for the last three Nas albums, and pretty much every session. So he just getting it by default. Like it's funny, like when I'm getting him dressed, we just kicking it out here, him singing melodies, humming, and I'm just like, did you just make that up? Like he really like got it in him, like the instinct of just music, melody, whatever the case may be. My family always been tight, had a bond, like made sure we got together. We use any excuse to link up and just whatever, cook, barbecue, chill, just talk to each other. And uh, yeah, like I just always had that instilled in me since I was born. Now they like this, like he'd he be ready, rather hang out with my dad than me now. And, and it's, it's only been five months. You would think they known each other the whole time, but you know, I guess it's just that bloodline, it's the genetics. love you my heart and I'm just man amazed I'm blown away at the same time you inspire me just by your humbleness like you know what I'm saying showing me it ain't all the way about going through the roof it's like calm think shit out you know what I'm saying yeah, you, you inspire me every day like you come you come in with the extra turned up energy seven eight in the morning you know what I mean I'm a laid back dude so like you like compensate enough for both of us with your energy but you like you know you got ideas man like and that's what what I'm I'm super inspired by my own ideas and just good ideas in general so you 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 put them out in the air all day and I'm just like damn like dude really a genius like beyond being my pops like you got ideas you know what I mean so we really to the next next situation man and uh, I respect it I love it family mean everything